right, I'm still looking at um, insurance adjustment. Um, hello, everyone. Um, in this part, again, we're going to present another scenario uh, of insurance. It's kind of like the same, um, you know, all the time if you get the idea. Of the main thing that you need to check is check the debts, right? Um, when is the year ending? When was the insurance paid? And uh, how many months are prepaid? That's what you need to find out, right? How many months are for current year? How many months are for the next coming year? And how many months are prepaid? How many months are for current year? Uh, you are provided with pre adjustment trial balance, right? Um, on 31 March 2019, insurance was given as. Uh, 79,500 adjustment insurance includes an annual premium. It's always an annual premium that you are given in the adjustment of 51,500. Uh, paid for the period 1 January 2019 to 31 December 2019. That's a uh, full 12 months. Right, so what you need to do, how much are you going to reduce uh, your insurance by? Because uh, this 51,000. Um, this 51,000 right, is part of the 79,500. But then uh, in that portion of the 51,000, uh, there is amount that is paid that is not for the year 2019, that for the year ending 31 March 2019. It's for the year ending 31 March 2020. Right, so we need to calculate the, the, the months or the amount that you're going to remove uh, from the insurance. Right, uh, so uh, the amount that we have there is 51,000 um, and we need to calculate how much is going to be deducted from insurance. Right, uh, so you can calculate it this way, right, the operating expenses. Then uh, you have insurance. Uh, that's seventy nine thousand five hundred minus uh, fifty one thousand multiplied by. Right. So, uh, how much are you going to deduct from the seventy nine thousand? How much? Uh, is not supposed to be part of uh, expenses for this year. So uh, looking at this, um, the insurance was paid on 1 January 2019, and our year is ending on 31 March 2019. That means the insurance that is part of uh, this year is for only three months, that is January, February, and March. Then from April up to 31 December, uh, the amounts paid for that period, uh, they don't belong to the current year, that one March 2019, so we need to remove that. That's what we need to remove. So that will be uh, 9 over 12. Right, uh, if you are going to calculate this separately, that will be 51,000 times 9 over 12, which gives you and that's 51,000 times 9 divided by 12, which gives you 38,215. Right, so uh, the answer that you get here is um, minus 79,500. That's 41,215. That will be the amount of insurance. You can calculate this separately, like this. Then when you come here, you just add your your answer here. That's thirty-eight thousand minus thirty-eight thousand two hundred fifty. So that will be seventy-nine thousand five hundred minus that. So that will still earn you uh, four marks. It's not how you calculate uh, or how you present it, as long as uh, the answers are correct. 
but uh, this method right you know it is kind of like you know makes you do it faster than calculating here then you calculate once then that makes you know it gives you more time to uh, to get to the next uh, adjustment or the next question it spares you a little bit of time right uh, please if you like uh, this presentation uh, please like the video subscribe and share with others uh, that will help uh, the channel to grow and make sure that uh, you turn the notifications on so that you don't miss any of the videos that I'm going to be posting uh, regarding accounting. Thank you.